looking at me here. Yeah, okay, so if we check the um, lights okay and all that kind of stuff. Yep, everything's good. Fine. Everything's good. Yeah, it does sometimes frustrate me that uh, because you cannot give a yes or no answer to a lot of big scientific questions, inevitably the message that comes over is simplified and quite often appears wrong. So yes, it does annoy me, but um, I am encouraged by some of the, the efforts uh, within you know, the media, television and so on to up the content of science and also to, to um, stop pretending that, that, that all the viewers are, are stupid. I mean, you know, people are not stupid. They do see through things. They can understand difficult concepts. And, uh, you know, I, th I think the, the role of TV and others is not to patronise people. It's to say, you know, here's the data. Do with it what you will. Yeah, it's been good fun. Um, I've had a bit of abuse from people who've uh, logged on and given me a hard time about it. Um, some old college friends, when I pointed out the links, they sort of said, oh, I've lasted five minutes before you you know, five seconds before I bored them to death, but uh, it's been a really good experience. Key things, we've had some nice papers published. Um, I had some great students, my first PhD student here, uh, George graduated just before Christmas and that was fantastic because he's a fantastic student. That's a big highlight. Uh, I guess we've had money coming in at long last. Um, I'd run my group a little bit like UK banks, I'd pushed them out right to the edge. Luckily money came in so we didn't have to get bailed out, so we got big sums of money and uh, so we can do extra work. And also, uh, I've got personal promotion, so I'm now a professor, so that's obviously very nice for me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> although I got one grant funded, there were about 12 that weren't. So, you know, you, you, you just put in grant after grant after grant, and you just, you just have to keep doing it. Yeah, well, we've got um, one big grant in synthetic biology, so we're gonna start doing that work, and that's in these artificial cells. And we've, we've got sufficient sum of money to be able to do something interesting in this area. We've also got a big European program in anti-cancer compounds and uh, well, new methods of, of treating or developing methods to treat difficult to deal with cancer. So that's, that's a huge thing for us because it really means that we can do some interesting work with the leading European groups. There's two areas. Geology is one. Um, I'd love to do that just simply because of interest in mountains. But recently through my five-year-old, now six-year-old son, uh, he's just really interested in space. and. Uh, when you start looking at programs written for kids about space, you realise that there's some fantastic science going on there, and you, you, you want to question the assumptions, but you also start looking at things. You think, well, you know, on the timescale of, of the universe, what we do is, is pretty insignificant, and it's, it's quite good to look at you know, cosmology and astrophysics and so on, to, to start thinking where you fit in and, and <laughs> how totally insignificant human life is in, in those terms. But, but that's, you know, a minor aside. That's the, the wow factor of, of physics, I guess. It's essentially, you can't, it's all teamwork. You can't do anything in science, uh, or very few things in science without a team. I mean, yes, there's some perhaps bits of theoretical physics where you could avoid it, but for my, my group, I mean, I work with uh, computer scientists, biophysicists, you know, I'm a, my background is chemistry, you know, you, um, electronic engineers. We've recently started a collaboration in that area, medics. It's, you just, Collaboration is essential, it's all teamwork. Yeah, well there's a team dynamic to all the work and I think actually the number of, of scientists who actually fit that mould of, you know, I do everything myself, there's very few of those around now. Uh, I mean, in some fields, yes, but it's, it's not very common because you just, you need to have different sets of skills. You can't know it all yourself. Yeah, well, the, I mean, one leading American commented that, you know, if you haven't written about science, you might as well not have done it. And I think that's right. I mean, we're, we're paid by the public purse. They have a right to know what we're doing. Uh, so, in a sense, uh, the, the key thing about you know, the science you do is you want to make sure that, that if it's significant, people can repeat that work and they can then go away and decide on its importance for themselves. So that way you, you have to publish your, your science. Otherwise people wouldn't know what you're doing or why you're doing it. I mean, it's part of your job. Um, and of course there is pressure to publish, but you, you want to do that anyway. I mean, I think, um, you know, clearly there's an ego reason as well. I mean, you, you want to be the person standing up on the stage talking about this paper. And, you know, you have a slide comes up and it will have a, well, certainly my, mine do, most, most scientists do. They'll have, a, you'll have a slide of data, a few pictures perhaps, and then you have the journal reference below. And what you want, to, want people to see is the journal references that will be a top journal. And so they say, oh, okay, hmm. So this person is actually worth listening to. Sometimes it's getting, a, it's getting a really good bit of data. You think, okay, no one's seen this before. So that's, that's a really great thing. Um, yeah, of course, getting the paper published, getting 
grant funding in, um, which actually incidentally is more work. I mean, you know, the reward for, for good work is more work. But yeah, the thing that get, you know, makes you want to come in the morning is you think, well, actually, yes, you can do something that's interesting and might be, you know, might one day be beneficial for people.